hi and welcome back to my channel today we're going to do this watercolor bird now i'm no watercolor expert but a few christmases ago it would have been oh, probably five christmases ago now i did a set of um watercolor christmas cards that were holly branches and if you scroll back you can see it it's in my list down there or I might try and put a link up here and you can go straight to it. And I stumbled across a, a way of doing, um, colouring a picture in and not being totally accurate. You know, if you're not a confident person to stay in the lines or whatever. And um, so I want to show you this technique. I don't know if it's got a name or not. Um, I just stumbled across it by when I was doing my um, picture and um, uh, and that's how I did it so <laughs> um, yeah so if anyone's a better watercolor artist out there that knows if this has got a name the technique that I'm doing comment below I'd love to know and um, and yeah so we'll get started on this now we've got a companion on the table today I'll just move my camera <laughs> He, he's laying on his lamby on the table. Oh, pickle. Daddy got called to work. Last night there was a big storm and power lines came down. And he got called to work to um, go and fix them. So he doesn't like leaving my side when Dave's not here. He He will literally be under my feet or somewhere he does not like leaving my side so I've just finished sorting out all my beads in my last video and um, he wanted to get on the table so uh, you're a good boy aren't ya hey you're a good boy <laughs> we took him to the berry farm with us <laughs> this is the berries that I showed you in the last video and he loved the raspberries <laughs> we'd pick him a raspberry and he'd eat them <laughs> he's a good boy he likes other fruit too don't you don't you like apricots what else do you like he loves um chomping on celery and he loves red, red capsicum so there are a few of the fruits and vegetables that he likes you're a good doggo aren't you hey having a sleep is all hot outside isn't it hmm so it looks like he's gonna stay there <laughs> so I've just got I'll just pull out some of my watercolor um, paint brushes I think I'll use this one and this one there's um I just put some of my brushes in this when we went around Australia and when I felt like it I just rolled it out and <laughs> did some painting no, I'll just sit that there um, I'll, I'll just spray these and get them hydrated hopefully pickle will stay there if he hears me spray <laughs> spraying it it's all right i'm not gonna spray you i'm not gonna use all the colors anyway so i'll just get that hydrated and i will what's in this one i think i'll go on I'm just going to get some water. No, you can't drink the water. Oh, you're thirsty. Do you want to drink? Oh, you're thirsty. Huh? You should have had a drink before you got up here. You could drink all that. I know you can. You drink like a camel, he does. He gets out in the middle of the night in our fish pond. We've got a little fish pond outside. And he'll just drink, 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 drink. And then, then he'll do the longest wee. And then go, right, I'm right to come back in. Yeah, he just drank it all on me. 
<laughs> you have to go get some more now. You can't drink this one. That's mummy's one. Right. Alright, we'll let that hydrate. He's staring at it like I'm gonna get it. No, you're not. You go back on your bed and have a little sleep. Um Okay, so I'm just going to this is just a watercolour pad, it's just a cheap one. Um no idea what it's made out of. <laughs> so let's just Oh, actually, we'll take it off because um, I'll put it in my put it in my stamp press. Watch your nose. All right, you're not gonna give me much room here today, are ya? Hey. Eh? All right, we've got this bird stamp. I'm going to just let's just put it in the middle pick that up and I've got some stays on because I don't want the ink to run in the water don't know how juicy this is it may need re rejuicing And I've got my little um, what do you call it? I got that off AliExpress. It's a little barren, but um, it's just for doing this. So yeah, that needs redoing. Might need a couple of goes because the watercolor paper is um, textured. And it does tend to soak it in. You're helping me, are ya? We'll give it one more go. One more go, especially down here on the on the stump. up because it always gets everywhere if you don't and finally got a pack of wax when we were when we were coming back from Christmas and we camped on the side of the road um we were in Newcastle I think and and I said to I said to Dad well we rung a few places and we couldn't get anywhere could not get anywhere to camp because of the time of the year you know it was between Christmas and New Year and um and so we is that coming out are you coming out does this have a um oh here we go that's it so it was between christmas and new year and we couldn't find anywhere to um stay especially with a dog so we um we just slept in the car so before we went to a rest stop and I mean, we're used to doing that when, when we went round Australia, when we went round Tasmania, um, we just camp on the side of the road or in a rest stop or, um, when we went round, um, Tasmania, we didn't pay for one night's accommodation. We, um, actually found rest stops the whole way round, free stops to camp, which was amazing. It was so good. And so, um so we um we had no hesitation staying in the car <laughs> i think one of the kids messaged us and they go where are you staying tonight mum and we said we're in the car and we're at a rest stop and we sent them our location and they're like oh what are you doing that for <laughs> but it didn't bother us didn't bother us one little bit so but before we left because see our van's not finished our camper van um before we left 
the town we went ducked into Kmart we bought some um, back window screens <laughs> and a pack of wipes <laughs> that was a, the pack of wipes Dave comes out with this huge big box of wipes and I said we only want one pack of wipes and he goes we never sold one pack he goes they were so, selling, him, selling <laughs> the baby wipes you know that was going to be our bath for the night he goes I was selling them in boxes of eight so um he bought this huge box of baby wipes home so um I've, I put, I've put a couple here in my desk and we put the um we put the uh what do you call it the screens on the windows and wound the windows down and put the seats back um we had blankets and pillows and and um and pickle here he just slept between us and um he was a good guard dog but he growled a couple of times and we looked around and but there was quite a few people camped there so you know we do we didn't feel unsafe at all at all it's um something you get used to when you travel and um i mean we, we were careful in um we took the advice that people gave us especially in different communities in the outback you've got to do that you've got to take advice there but um yeah you just take caution wherever you are anyway all right so this bird i want to show you i'm you're gonna have to move over just a little bit pickle hey mommy's just got no space she's got no space all right so uh, what i mean with this is that i'm just going to pick out areas in this um bird that are the colors that i want but i'm just going to extend it out so what i mean i'll just um get some blue going on here I want the um the bird to be blue so I'm not going to be um I'm not going to be particular in where I put it like I'm not staying in the lines so to speak so I know the blue is all down the back here so I'm just going to cover him all where I want the blue like this and I'm just going to you know just make it look arty at the top like that and then I'll wash my brush out and I know I want the beak to be a grey colour so where's my I've got some silver and um, just put a little bit of black. I just add the silver in and see what it looks like. And so I'm just going to do the same here. So I'm just going to go up on the beak, but then just go out from the beak. I'll blend in that blue there and just bring it around like that. So, hang on, I might bring it down just a little bit more. Alright, so see how I'm just extending that, that colour past the picture. I'll put a bit more blue in, I'm just trying to blend that in. Alright, now I know I want... Um, um his chest to be orangey and not orangey sort of brownie color so we'll go in to the orange now remember i'm no expert at all with any of this watercolor painting i just have a go and that's um that's all you gotta just have a go so just go down the chest down the tail 
and extend that out to blend it into your grey blend it into my blue over here I just might bring a bit of that blue down like that and then my next colour that I want to put on here is um, a deeper brown for the stump Mm, that's where I was mixing up brown. Sorry you can't see this. Pickle's like <laughs> Pickle up <laughs> Pickle <laughs> oh, You're a sweetheart, aren't ya? Hey? You're a sweetheart. You're helping me paint today, aren't ya? Hey? Let's water that down a bit. So I know I want the stump to be brown. Okay, so I'm going to bring that just all over here blend it in with my orange and then blend it in with my orange at the base here all right now i'm not being particular just i'm just covering that i'm not staining the lines at all and then I want to give a little bit of green up here um, where I've done the uh, branches. I know it's a bare branch, but I just want to bring a little bit of colour in to add to that picture. So I'm just going to then bring a little bit of green in and then just blend it all in with that. okay and that is the basis of the watercolor finished all right so now we've got to let this dry because if you put a layer if you put layers on you need to let that watercolor dry between layers so um i mean i know some basic things some basic watercolor things and that i know that's one of them so Now he might be scared of this, I'm not sure, but I'll move it away from him. It's okay. I'm not going to get you, sweetie. Your mummy's just drying the paper. And dry it on the back as well. So it gets all those fibers dry. It's okay, sweetheart. So that's all dry and it does warp the paper a little bit so you can just unwarp it or at the end you can just put it in a um under a book that's what I usually do all right so I'm going to just wash out my um, bigger brush I'll leave that for now and go to the smaller brush that was the bigger brush was just a size 16 this one's a size 8 and these are just Montmartre um, Sorry, I wasn't in the screen. Uh, my bigger brush was a 16 and this one is a size 8. But look, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I see people um, watercolour with a big brush all the time. So, um, yeah, give it a go. Alright, so what I want to do now is just bring in 
I'm going to move you Pickle because you're taking up my <laughs> you can see his nose there alright so I'm just bringing you down a little bit closer and what I want to do now is just add the detail in so your pitch is almost done almost done so what I'm going to do now is um, pick up some of back some of those colors the same colors I'll start with the blue and I'm just going to pick up the darker blue I think I might, I might move this down here so you can see what I'm doing with the palette as well okay so I'm just going to then put the detail in where I want it on here all right and it doesn't matter if you go over the line because we've already gone over the line all as I'm doing he's just darkening this up where I want it dark that's all I'm doing so I'm going to put some little stripes up here and darken his head and see I went over the line there all you need to do is get your brush put it in the water and it's done <laughs> it's like magic I love watercolor because you so you know it's so forgiving so forgiving all right I'll go on to his um his beak and we're going to just put a little bit of just make that a little bit darker I didn't want it that black either so So we've just made that just a little bit darker clean the brush off again and go into the orange I don't I, I sort of want mixes of you know I don't want just as dark I mean I pick up bits of color that that are already dried on the on the palette and it gives you a mix of whatever's going <laughs> so i know this um kingfisher he has some red on his cheeks up here and just around his eye a little so i'm just going to darken that in that area and i know that it blends out i mean i've done this photo before <laughs> it blends out into a blue down here so we just put some blue in here as well and I just want to pick that back up yeah like that all right and then his chest is this orange color like what we've put here so we're just going to do that but darker and I'll just pick up all this paint that I've got going down here see I've hardly put any paint out at all and look I've almost finished my picture so it's um it's a great way to color all right and I'm just going to wash that out and blend that in and I want to put a little bit of shade behind him so I can sort of you know bring that shade down a bit where he's sitting on the trunk and then I want a little bit of brown in his chest as well and bring that down into his tail and that's the bird almost done your, your picture's almost done um what have we got here his feet i think i just made them a brown color and then i put some brown in this log
and then a little bit of brown on the tree stalk like that and then I just put some red so a little tiny bit of red on these berries And that's my picture done. Now, if you want to take it just a little bit further, I might just put a little bit of up there. Now, if you want to finish, take a little bit further and finish it, what I did here was put some splats on it. You can see all the little splats of black and white. So, I'm just um, over this side, I had quite a bit of black. Um, made up back when I was doing that I think that's the last time I opened this so we're just going to get our other brush and just tap it like this and I think that's enough black so I'm going to wash that out and then I have got white down here but what I might use instead of that um, watercolour white is just a little bit of this Jo Sonia white. I think it'll work better for me. So that's just um, Jo Sonia um, matte flow acrylic because I wanted a it's titanium white. But I, I asked the lady for a white that would um, flow really well with this sort of concept of of um, of putting it on a picture like this. So just put a little bit of water with that, and then I'm going to splat my white around. And that's my picture done. How easy is that? How easy? Hang on, I'll just wash my brush out and I'll show you. Now, um, what I want to do too, I just want a tiny little spray on those berries. Yeah, I just wanted to get that red. Just move that red just a little bit. Right, and then dry it. Because I just want a little bit of red there. You're all right, pickle. Um, hang on, I'll come in with a little bit more red. Just wanted to emphasize that, that there was a little bit of red there on the berries. Oop, that one went a little bit far, but that's okay. Doesn't matter if it spreads. You can pick some of it up with a, with a clean brush like that. See? And see, I want this spreading effect on it. Now, if you don't want the paint moving, hold your um. If you don't want the paint going like this, um, hold your your heat gun higher up so it just puts heat on it and doesn't move the water around. Then you can come down and get a bit closer to it but remember when you add in layers you need to dry it off between you need to dry it off between that's important all right and then I'm just going to go in with my brighter color and a strong um, and put the berries on and then I've got this um, 
this sort of blowout around it which um, looks really cool so I'll just put a little bit of brown back on the twig because they have lost that A little bit more of the red of those berries. So that's my picture. I'll show you up close. So you don't do not need to be an artist or anything. You know that was just so easily and quickly done. Um, it was, um, what do you call it, a really loose watercolour um, that I put on first and then I've, all as I've done then is go in and, um, I should put some brown on here, um, add the colour that I needed to it. So I hope you give this method a go or um yeah or have a look at your stamps and see what you can do with it it's um it's a, such an easy way of painting a picture might even paint the um might even put just a little bit I'll just emphasize his foot just lighten that up a little bit There we go. And that's my picture. This is the first one I did and I've just um, cut it with a um, corner rounder. But they could be cut down and put into a junk journal as a journal card or whatever. Now remember when you're um, doing your your oh, let me find my pen here. Where did you go? When you're doing your art stuff, don't be shy and put your signature on it. Now hang on, I'm looking for my, here it is. I've started putting my signature on all of my little artworks and I think it really adds to it. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Alright, I hope you've enjoyed that technique. Um, if you know what this technique's called, let me know, but I have no idea what it's called. I just call it a loose, loose painting, water painting, you know, because, um, you do not have to be accurate at all. Doesn't look pretty. It really does come up really pretty. All right. Hope you give that one a go. And Pickle, are you going to say goodbye? Huh? Are you going to say goodbye? Come on. Are you going to say goodbye? Say see you everyone. Bye. He's been here. Oh, he's been sitting here being a good doggo. Haven't you? You haven't said a word. Haven't said a word and you don't even have your collar on. Hey, you're learning, aren't you? Hey, you're learning to be a good doggo. Yeah, you are. You say bye everyone. Bye. <laughs> Alright, if you're new here, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Press that bell button for notifications. Um, um, I like to do all sorts of things. Or have my finger in all sorts of things. Or try things. And um, oh, what else can you do? Give me a like, a thumbs up. That's really important for, to help my channel grow. Um, what else? You can pop down and check out the little thanks heart button. If you feel that way inclined. And... I'll catch you real soon for a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.